All right, now it's Sunday afternoon, kind of late, hot again. Too hot to work on that truck out there, so I think I'm going to take this time and clean up my mess, which is everywhere. Been so busy running up and down the East Coast, I haven't uh, cleaned up my mess. So I'm going to do that. All right, I got my workbench cleaned off enough where I can see it there. Reminds me of a few other projects I ain't done yet, like put that on the black Chevy and blah blah blah. But anyway, sometimes I like to do something just for fun, and this may be that. I got this from my dad. He had it laying around, no telling what that came off of, but it's an air horn with a little button. Probably came off some old military vehicle if I had to guess. But anyway, my idea is I'm gonna mount this horn up here somewhere and I'm gonna mount that button somewhere obvious place with a sign on it that says do not push and I should be able to garner some amusement from that alright this is an ideal obviously you can't get junk for free and have it all be in good condition but let's see what happens I think it's cooled off enough out there I can go put my new distributor in and maybe change the exhaust manifold gasket if it's leaking on that side I ought to put it in anyways and play with the radio maybe I think that's what I'll do first change that distributor that's a pretty simple job and I need to make sure I have vacuum routed to all the correct places and that shouldn't be too hard either that's a Summit distributor. I think it was like $89 or something. Look at there. It comes with coil and brass terminals in the cat and everything. Ain't too sure about that rotor though. Kind of peculiar, ain't it? I just noticed something on that van. If you look close up there, you can see where it used to say Strowman. Usually you can get the distributor hold down bolt loose with just a 9 16 wrench, but I had to go dig up my thing I made when I was about 17. Pretty ugly welds, ain't it? Let's see if that works. What you hiding? You lush. <laughs> Coca-Cola! Alright, I got the new distributor in. Now I gotta hook the wires up. Maybe wipe some blood off. And you want to wipe it off? No, thanks. Oh. <sighs> don't have the stomach for it. Hope I don't ever get wounded real bad. Well, in an emergency, but if you're able to film, <clears throat> you're able to wipe the blood off. Okay. I'm going to put these wires on and set the timing. Hopefully, it'll run. Now I got to put the wires on and then set the timing. And then she bought a radio and uh, got the guy down to two dollars at a yard sale for Kenwood for Pete's sake I'm gonna see if that <clears throat> one will work in this truck it's satellite radio capable too yeah I know might find out and plug it in it'll still work oh anyways that's what happened to Stove Bolt 50 he bought one at a flea market and paid a dollar or something and he got home and it worked Anyway, crossed. let's see what happens. Well, that's a first. I dropped it in there perfectly timed. Got that radio hooked up yet? No. Why not? I don't know nothing about it. We ought to let the folks hear it run, hadn't we? Yeah. Crank her up one time. Sitting around and, and then the 
estate and all that business, so it's got old gas in it. Sounds pretty good. It's got a little exhaust leak on this side on that manifold. I gotta change that, but I don't think I'll do it today. I think I'll work on the radio. I had to move her to the back seat. We got quite a plethora of wires and whatnot here. And where'd it go? This one doesn't have the plug on the end, but I think with some cutting and snipping, we might be able to make something work. Well, guess what? What? It works. Awesome, my $2 radio paid off. Mm hmm. Only trouble is <clears throat> the antenna wire is too short by about three inches. So then. I don't know. It seems like you ought to be able to find the antenna wire extension. So I got this thing rigged up. It works, but, you know, it's not real cool to have an antenna wire laying across your dash. <laughs> And the speakers don't sound awful, they sound stock. We're gonna have to do better than that. We're, we're gonna have to have some boom boom, don't you think? You've been dying to have boom boom. Okay. I think you're trying to live younger than you are. What are you talking about? I'm young. <laughs> oh, really? Just because my back aches after I crawl around under the hood for a couple hours doesn't mean I'm old. Well, oh, you're older than me. Like by a minute. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> well, it's running along all right nicely. How do you like the ride? I like it. We filled it up with gas. Yep. Only one tank works. It's got two tanks. We gotta figure out why the other one don't work. There's still stuff to do, but the old truck drives pretty good. What's it say? Like 48-ish. Hmm. Seems like I ought to be a little colder than that, but we'll figure it out. I gotta do some reading. Colder than that? Yeah. What should it be? So we can keep cool. What is what's it doing the Honda? It only goes to like 55 or something, don't it? The air conditioning is awful in the Honda. Always has been since it was brand new. Yes. It's sweating and making water. But I think maybe not enough. I think it's discharged just a little bit. I didn't, I don't think I put enough in. I think I lost some more even. And uh, I sprayed it out with this leaking. Pressure, I don't know. I hear it working, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. One other thing I noticed. Gas, that gas and it smelled terrible. I bet it'll sound a little better after it runs a while. Most of the lights work, except those, I guess. Those are ugly, anyways. I'm taking them off. All the ones on the cab work. Fiddle. 